Hi, I'm Ken from Strictly English, and in this lesson we are going to talk about the 20-minute essay. The 20-minute essay asks you to summarize a listening and explain how it relates to a reading passage on the same topic. TOEFL begins by giving you three minutes to read a 350-word passage. After three minutes, the reading disappears, and TOEFL plays a two-minute pre-recorded audio lecture on the same topic as the reading. It is important to know that the listening always opposes the reading. If the reading says good, then the lecture says bad. If the reading says happy, then the listening says unhappy. Now, all the TOEFL books and all the other TOEFL schools say that the reading and lecture are structured in a for-against format, but this is wrong. We here at Strictly English know that the correct format is point-counterpoint. To keep it simple, we are going to imagine that the topic of both the reading and the listening is dogs. If the reading says that dogs are good pets, then the lecture will say that dogs are bad pets. Both for-against and point-counterpoint will have this basic opposition. And, in both the for-against and the point-counterpoint, the reading will give three reasons to support its opinion, and the lecture will also give three reasons to support its opposing opinion. The difference between for-against and point-counterpoint is in how the reading's three reasons relate to the lecture's three reasons. Let's begin with the for-against structure, which is, again, the wrong format. In this format, the reading's three reasons as to why dogs are good pets is 1. They love you, 2. They protect you, and 3. They give you exercise. As we know, the lecture is going to oppose the reading. It will say that dogs make bad pets. 1. Dogs are loud. 2. Dogs are dirty. And 3. Dogs are expensive. Notice that the lecture's arguments have nothing to do with the reading's arguments. For example, the lecture says that dogs are expensive, but the reading doesn't talk about money. In fact, the reading offers three reasons, and the lecture offers three different reasons that have no relationship to the reading's reasons. Again, what I just explained is not what happens on the TOEFL. Unfortunately, though, this is what all the TOEFL books teach, and consequently, it is also what many other language schools teach. This is why many students fail to achieve the score they want. Now, let's look at the point-counterpoint format, which is what you will experience on the TOEFL. In the point-counterpoint format, the reading will present three points, and the lecture counters, or opposes, each of these points. So, if the reading says that dogs are good because they love you, the lecture finds a problem with that love. For instance, the lecture might say, A dog's love can be dangerous. My chihuahua, Pickles, loves me so much that she always wants to be in my lap, even when I'm driving. Usually she just sits there, but last week when we were driving to the pet store, Pickles saw a squirrel, which I guess she loves more than me, because she went crazy. I lost control of my car and hit an oak tree. I don't care how much she loves me. From now on, she wears her seatbelt. Do you see what I'm saying? The point in both the reading and the lecture is the same love, but the lecture counters the reading. While the reading says a dog's love is good, the lecture counters the exact same point by saying a dog's love is bad. And this same structure of opposition happens with the reading's second point, which says that dogs are good pets because they protect you. The lecture will counter this point by saying that a dog that protects you might accidentally attack the wrong person. Again, the lecture's point counters the reading's point. So now let's talk about how to organize your notes efficiently. Turn your paper sideways and form this grid. Label the left side R for reading and the right side L for lecture. Three boxes on the left, one for each of the reading's points. Three boxes on the right, one for each of the lecture's points. The two top boxes will be about the first point of the reading and lecture. The two middle boxes will be for the second point of the reading and lecture, and the bottom boxes will be for the third point of the reading and lecture. Now your job is to fill in each box. This isn't easy, though. TOEFL uses tricks to confuse you when you're trying to take notes. Want to learn how to avoid those tricks as well as how to structure your essay? Then continue this lesson by enrolling in one of Strictly English's one-on-one -on -one tutorials. We offer face-to-face -face tutoring in Boston, Massachusetts, and online classes anywhere in the world. Begin your TOEFL study today from the comfort of your own home. Thank you for watching. 
For more, sign up now.